Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady, and it's graduation season where I live, and so I need several graduation cards, and today we're going to show you how to make this graduation card that doubles as a money holder. I'm going to also be using the Stamparatus to show you how to stamp this image. I will be starting with the Amazing Congratulations set, and this is a unique set that it has an outline and then two images that are designed to be inside. I will also be using the hand-delivered stamp set. It's got a fun greeting for graduates. I have this piece of smoky slate cardstock that measures. Pulled in my Simply Scored. This is going to help me get my score lines done very easily. So on my eight and seven eighths inch edge, I'm going to score at three inches and six inches. Okay, and then let's rotate it. And I'm going to go to 3 eighths inch and 7 and 1 quarter inch and score those and set this aside. I will need to trim off this top and bottom, top and bottom on both sides. So I'm just going to slip this into my Stampin' Trimmer and trim down to there, go up to the bottom and then turn over and repeat. Okay, I've trimmed off these little edge pieces at an angle. I'm just using a slight angle here. That will fold up easier and line them up better. Now let's press those edges. You can see that this is a very quick and easy money holder. So I've scored and then folded all of those edges. This is going to be my top flap right here. I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue down the sides here on both of those sides. And then we'll just hold that shut, hold that shut. There we go. Hold it for a second to let it set up. For the decorative piece for the card front, I have a two and three quarters inch by six and a half inch card stock. This is Whisper White. I'm going to use my Stamparatus because this stamp set is designed to have this outline and then these two images inside. And this way, I've already set them up to measure so that it will line up nice and easy for me and I can just layer them. Now, just a quick notice on my setup here, on my Stamparatus, you do, I do have one of our um, silicone mats inside there just to give it a little more lift. And then I have the foam piece that you need, the foam insert that you need when you are using photopolymer. These magnets are very, very, very strong. So be careful when you get them close to each other. Okay, so I can just put this up in the corner and I did line these up ahead of time. With my smoky slate, I'm going to do my outline first. I found it the easiest way to line it up was to do my outline first, but you really can do which one, ever one works the best for you. And let's just press that down. I do have an extra plate here. You can purchase extra plates for the Stamparatus, and that's what I've done. I have now already ahead of time positioned this on a new plate so that it will line up right inside of that congratulations. And I'm going to use my blueberry bushel. I do want this a little bit lighter. So I am going to take a piece of scratch paper, just slip that underneath, stamp it once onto the scratch paper without re-inking it. Let's stamp that again. And then you'll see that I'll have a couple, I'll have a little variation on my stamping for the congratulations. Now my last plate, like I said, I did purchase extra plates. So you could use the, you could just flip them. If you do not have extra plates, the Stamparatus comes with two. So I could have flipped it the other side, but since I have extra, I did use my extra one. I did this one full strength. And then you'll be able to see that I have some variation in the color of my congratulations. And then I'm going to set that aside. Because this is a photopolymer stamp set, I am placing a stamp and pierce pad underneath. That'll just give me a little more cushion. So we're pulling in. This is part of that amazing congratulations set. And then with Smoky Slate, 
I will just add this dotted background, and this is also in that set. Put some adhesive down on this back, and then we'll just press this onto the front. You'll notice I have different colors here. I like to take my graduation cards and personalize them to the graduate's school. So this one is royal blue and gray, or silver. I'm using a gray. I'm gonna make a little belly band to keep this closed. This graduation cap is actually from a retired stamp set, but I pulled it out and I'm gonna use it for this. And then I will just cut this with an oval die. I have a half inch by seven inch piece here, and I could measure, but I'm just going to kind of wrap it around, get those to where they overlap. Let's put a little bit of glue down there. Belly band is just going to help to keep that in place, the card shut. So the graduate will just slide it off and slide it on. I'm just putting my overlapped area there on the front and then I will be putting that little graduation oval right over that to cover that up. Of course, I'm gonna be sliding that over a little. I notice that it's covering a little close. And there is my outside and it's all done. The band will help hold the envelope shut. For the inside, I'm just going to stamp congratulations to the graduate, and this is from that hand-delivered stamp set, that host set that I showed at the beginning. And I will take the hat and just add a few hats along the side. And this is a quick little inside for my sentiment, and then you could add your money with it. So once you open that up, you can slide this in so you can write, you can put your gift of money in there and then slide it on and it's ready to go to the graduate. I hope you enjoyed making this card and I will link to other graduation cards that I have made. Thanks so much for watching.